Good afternoon, this is Bob Iacchino coming to you from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago talking metals. Let's talk copper. Yesterday we saw about a 3.5% decline in the price of copper and today that continues, although we did come back a little bit in toward the end of the day. The story of copper is still inventories. Inventories jumped to 21 trillion metric tons. Uh, that's a six and three quarter year high for copper, copper in inventories in London and that pushed price lower. Again, we rebounded a little bit, but the price continued to fall in toward the close and we finished marginally lower right around that $3 level of the NYMEX copper futures contract. Now, traders are also concerned about Chinese demand. Market participants know that there's a big celebration in China for the Lunar New Year, which is a week long, so it's about a week long holiday in China and you add those inventories to the fact that the entire country of China will basically be shut down for the most part for this Lunar New Year holiday. That's putting a little bit of a damper on future demand and again, pushing prices a little bit lower. The main fall was yesterday, but we continue that a little bit more today. And then there's also dollar strength. We're now up four days in a row in the dollar index and we were up against the euro and the pound, the major pairs. Uh, the pound had some pretty strong moves this morning, but again, the dollar strength took that over and as the dollar strengthened, commodity prices get weaker. Now that could spark demand in the coming months if the dollar continues this new trend, but if this is a correction, the dollar reverses, that'll push copper prices higher. So we're waiting and watching the dollar. Nobody expected this four day rise out of it. We're back above 90 on the dollar index, and that is really continuing to keep a cap on metals prices in general and copper prices specifically. This is Bob Iacchino talking base metals, specifically copper, from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago.